Hello everyone and welcome to this Windows channel and this is our tech news update. We are Friday, October 7th, 2016 and in our tech news we have um, kind of some uh, news about the uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 that will be coming out next year and it seems that uh, the rumors are pretty uh, good at uh, no home button and uh, basically the screen will take pretty much as much space as possible on the front which uh, is kind of a trend here we know that uh, maybe the next iPhone could be like that also so uh, that's kind of interesting um, and uh, we'll see uh, how it goes but it uh, promises to be a very nice handset for sure and also concerning the uh, Note 7 fiasco um, Samsung did say that uh, third quarter Earnings should be quite strong, quite good, even though they had some problems with the Note 7. So at least that's good news, and it seems to say that uh, maybe it's uh, not too bad after all. Well, PC shipments. Um, basically, Gardner, that always releases from time to time the PC shipment numbers, uh, says that uh, this year PC shipments will go down 3%. And uh, but that's pretty much where it's going to stay uh, for the next few years. They've uh, released the uh, 2017, 2018, and 2019 sale numbers, and what we see is that not only is it going to stabilize next year, meaning that uh, there's going to be pretty much the same amount of PCs sold next year than this year, it might even increase slightly. But don't expect to have huge increases. Uh, a lot of people are going into mobile, and so from what we see here is that a lot of people are actually more content to have a phone or a tablet. Uh, and what also helps the PC shipments is the uh, popularity of the two-in-ones, PCs that are hybrid that can become tablets. So um, at least, you know, the slump, the big slumps of the last few years will have gone down, and, uh, well, we're kind of stop. Uh, from this point on from um, the numbers that we see well if you're a software developer you might have been uh, tempted to be in a Microsoft rewards program that would give points and medals of all sorts well Microsoft said that the uh, tech rewards program is going to shut down on January 6th 2017 and they say that starting now uh, no more badges no more medals no more points will be uh, rewarded, rewarded to the actual users right now. So um, this is uh, something that uh, a lot of uh, software developers might actually find uh, sad, but um, apparently the Microsoft tech rewards are stopping. Well, if you're on Outlook.com and you've been trying to log in and you've had some issues yesterday and even this morning, it seems that there are some sporadic outages here and there for the Outlook.com uh, website and so if you can't log in now wait Microsoft says they are trying to fix the issue and that by the end of the day should be okay so uh, it started yesterday around midday um, not everybody for example I didn't have any problems but some users have been uh, saying that they couldn't log into their Outlook accounts so uh, if you're one of those don't worry it should be fixed by the weekend well, an interesting study where um, they asked regular, you know, down to earth folks about security on their workplace and on computers. Um, users say that um, they think security is good enough on their side, that they uh, have good passwords and that they uh, take care of it pretty much uh, like it should be. But they also say that they are getting tired of being reminded to change passwords all the time. They are tired and bothered by any other security measures that um, not just, you know, the web sites ask them, but also at the workplace. So it shows that security needs to be probably, um, I think we, we need a, a change in how security is about, you know, maybe um, security with biometrics that's uh, you know uh, face recognition or uh, iris scan or maybe even uh, just uh, you know fingerprint might actually alleviate part of this I think people will find it more interesting to be logged in and 
of course it's going to be more secure to know that you only can log in with your own credentials being biometrics your own you know body basically so um that will increase security and uh, maybe uh, it will prevent people from getting a little tired of the security in the workplace and at home. Well, Verizon is uh, back now and says uh, that uh, they want to have a discount of $1 billion from the Yahoo deal. Uh, you know, we were waiting for this, uh, of course, when Yahoo saying that they had 500 more billion, uh, million accounts uh, that were... Um, stolen and that it took two years before they told us uh, Verizon of course started looking at this and they paid 4.8 billion for Yahoo and they're like hmm okay we need to check it out here so basically what they said they want to have a 1 billion discount uh, they think that uh, they've been kind of lied to basically by Yahoo in saying that well you know it didn't tell us anything uh, we didn't know that maybe we wouldn't have bought Yahoo if we knew before so it seems they're still interested in getting Yahoo, but they want to have uh, a little billion less to pay for it, which I think, um, you know, is uh, totally normal because Verizon here is a little bit like us, the users. They've been kind of a, a little scammed here with all of that. So it's going to be interesting to see how it happens. And uh, finally, talking about Verizon, if you are a U.S. Uh, resident and that you are planning to buy the new Pixel phones from Google, well, you might want to steer away from Verizon because it seems that Verizon will be the only carrier that will not only add its own apps to the phone, but it will also prevent updates to the operating system um, and just, you know, have updates when they wish to have updates, which would be a first because uh, Google phones were always interesting for one a major reason is that every time there was a new update to Android, for example, they would always be the first phones to have that update. Well, it seems that if you're on Verizon, that will not be the case. So um, if you buy a Pixel, Pixel XL phone, maybe you want to buy it from another carrier. And this is, or was, the tech news update for Friday, October 7, 2016. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up, and if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Have a great weekend. We will be back on Monday with some more tech news.